let's illuminate this chunky men's cowl with this super funky stitch using your 24 peg loom and some bulky yarn hey it's denise from loomahead.com for more information visit the website or see the description below all right let's begin with the cast on Let's start by securing the yarn to the anchor peg and I did want you to keep in mind that these two pegs here are your edges as we knit. Alright, let's start with the first and we're going to wrap. I'm going to the right, you can go to the left, it's not important. Once you reach your last peg, we are going to turn around because we're knitting flat. And we're going to be using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch so you half wrap and knit off. Go to the next peg, half wrap, and this one tighten a little. You see how that loose loop kind of tightens up? And then just keep knitting until you get back to your first peg. Once you knit off that peg, you're done with your cast on and you're ready for row one, which is a row of knit stitches. But first, let's take the knot off the anchor peg. Your yarn is now secure and we'll start by wrapping every peg. Then just knit off. Once you knit off that last peg, you're done with row one and you're ready for row two, which is a knit one yarn over, knit two together to the last peg. But I do want to show you a shortcut for the yarn overs. So let's do that knit one right here. It's a U wrap, you knit off. And I do want you to keep in mind that your edges, which are these two here, you'll always do a knit stitch. Next, is your yarn over and for that what you're going to do is remove the loop from the peg unravel because it's an e-wrap and take that loop and put it on the next peg and that's your yarn over knit two together so here you're going to remove the next loop and it is a e-wrap so you're going to unravel it and put it on the peg next to it. That is going to be a knit two together. So let me show you up close. You take the next loop off the peg and you can see the cross right there of the yarn. So you're going to unravel it so it looks like this and you're going to take it to the next peg and you're going to keep doing that until you get to the second to last peg. Keep in mind that this peg right here was the last one you worked on and this is where your working yarn is. So get that working yarn and we're going to wrap every peg. When you're done wrapping all of your pegs, you're then going to knit off. So remember that you're always knitting off those edges and then I want you to knit off every peg that has three loops. Here's your knit two together. So you're going to take those bottom two over the top and knit off. You don't have to do them together if that's too much. You can do them one at a time. And just continue knitting off all of the pegs that have three loops. When you're done with that, you are done with row two and at that point all you're going to do after you knit off this last peg is repeat row two as many times as you'd like. I did a total of 80 rows and then just start again. Knit one, move the loops for the yarn over. Then wrap all the pegs, knit off, and once you're done with that, you just repeat the process. When you finish your rows, then it's time to connect the two sides. You're going to fold your fabric in half like this 
and then you're going to take that cast on edge and bring it into your loom on the inside and you're going to need to find that little edge it's really tight right here and that's going to be the first one that you're going to remount and as you pull um, those loops onto the peg make sure that you pull on them just a little bit uh, so that the one before it gets a little tighter and the one that comes next is a bit looser and that's going to help you to be able to remount those last few because as you continue to mount the loops um, it's really loose at the beginning and then it's really tight at the end so you want to make sure that these loops are going to give and you have enough loops uh, to be able to mount all 24 pegs just make sure you keep an eye out for those edges they're the most difficult ones and once they're on you're just going to knit off you may find that you have to hold on um, to some of the loops because the top ones are looser than the bottom and my loom um, keeps <laughs> losing my pegs um, because yes things get a bit tight and so as you knit off um, some of your pegs if your pegs come out might come out so um, just keep doing that until you get back to the beginning of the loom and um, and you've done all of your pegs once you knit the last peg now you're going to take your yarn and you're going to wrap it around the loom about one and a half times cut and then you're going to take a needle thread your needle and you're going to go up the first peg the next one you're going to come from the top down and then you're going to take the needle from the bottom up and the next peg you're going to go from the top down and if you notice the yarn will tell you where you left off so it's at the bottom on the next peg go from the bottom up it's at the top so from the top down on the next peg and make sure that you do all of your loops don't leave any undone that would be a big problem and once you've gone through all of your loops then go ahead and tie the cast on and the cast off strands of yarn that are left just to secure everything and with your hook you're going to go ahead and take the loops off the pegs and this is a knockoff from ebay that is acting up so that's why my pegs keep coming off um, not to mention that it can be a bit tight once you've done yet that your fabric is free and you can stretch out your stitches and you're ready to weave in your ends so go ahead and get your needle or you can use a crochet hook I prefer a needle so I'm going to thread the needle with that leftover yarn and I go through the top first because I want to even up um, that portion and then I go inward up with that strand of yarn and um, once I feel like I've gone up enough then I turn around and I come in the opposite direction I feel like it secures my yarn better and uh, once I feel I've done enough on that end then I get my scissors and pull on it a little bit and cut the excess yarn I'm going to do that on this end as well so I get my trusty needle again and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to weave in from the top and then go inward and up and if I have enough then I turn around now I like the edges here and I wanted to put something so I got a contrasting color and I fed it through the loops that are on the edges this last step is optional but I think it gives the cowl a very elegant look especially um, with a darker tone so you're going to go ahead and um, have enough yarn to get around the cowl at least one and a half times to do this when you're done just take the yarn back inside and you can make a knot and I like I said I did it on the top um, once I'm done I go ahead and um, make that knot and weave in the ends and then do the other end if you like the video please share it it does help me a whole lot and remember to comment like if you haven't already done so, subscribe.